this is a problem on hydrolysis of sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite is otherwise called bleach. The sodium hypochlorite ion is a strong conjugate base. Therefore, it is prone to undergo hydrolysis. The objective of the problem is to determine the pH of a 0.1 molar solution. So if you dissolve sodium hypochlorite in water, it's going to dissociate completely into Na positive and OCl minus ions. The OCl minus ions undergoes hydrolysis according to the equation OCl minus plus H2O, reversibly giving HOCl plus OH minus, which indicates that the product is a base, therefore the solution will be basic. And we can write a KB expression for this reaction or this dissociation, which is KB is equals to HOCl into OH minus divided by OCl minus. Since we are trying to determine the pH of a solution, we need the hydroxide ion concentration. And in order to get the hydroxide ion concentration, we should be able to solve the equilibrium expression for the dissociation of the ions or the hydrolysis of the OCl minus ion. And in order to do that, we will need the value of Kb. Now, Kb is not given to us. Instead, we are given the Ka for HOCl, the acid from which the strong conjugate base is formed. Now, we know that the relationship between Kw, Ka, and Kb is Kw is equals to Ka into Kb. We can actually solve for Kb using these values. Kb is equal to Kw over Ka. Kw is the ion product of water, which is 1 into 10 to the power of negative 14 divided by the Ka. In this case, it is 3.0 into 10 to the negative 8. So once you have that value, you can proceed to solve for the hydroxide ion concentration. Therefore, Kb is equal to 3.3 into 10 to the power of negative 7. In order to determine the hydroxide ion concentration, we will generate an ice table from which we can determine the hydroxide ion concentration and the equilibrium constant expression. So here we have the initial concentration of OCl minus, which is 0.1 mole. That represents the initial concentration I. The change in concentration we are going to assume is going to be X. If one mole of OCl minus reacts, it produces one mole of HOCl and one mole of hydroxide ions. So that will give us an expression for the equilibrium concentrations. Then we will solve for X using the KB expression. So now KB is equals to X squared divided by 0 0.1 minus X. Now as we already know the KB value is 3.3 into 10 to the power of negative 7. Therefore, the x, the change in concentration, is going to be extremely small. So, in this case, we are going to neglect the value of x in the denominator. Or 0 0.1 minus x is going to be taken as 0 Rearranging the KB expression, we can find out the value of x. x is equal to the root of 3.3 into 10 to the power of negative 7 times 0 0.1, where the value of x is found to be 1.8 into 10 to the power of negative 4 moles per liter. Since x also represents the hydroxide ion concentration, we can use this value to determine the pOH of the solution.
Since we have the concentration of the hydroxide ions, now we can determine the pOH using the equation pOH is equals to negative log of OH minus ion concentration. The pOH of the solution is equal to 3.74 plus pOH is equal to 14 or in this case pH is equal to 14 minus pOH. Therefore pH is equal to 14 minus 3.74 or pH is equal to 10.26. So we have a basic solution. So hydrolysis of the hypochlorite ion makes the solution basic. That's it for now. Please rate, comment and subscribe if you like the video.